Hey, this is Mike from TuneTrack, and in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create a drum track for a song using Easy Drummer 2. So I've got an idea for a verse and a chorus of a song that I want to write, and I'm going to use Easy Drummer 2 to help me finish the composition. I'll start by recording a scratch track of the verse. All right, so I have an idea of the type of beat that I'd like to go along with this guitar part. So the first thing that I'll do is open Easy Drummer 2 and go to Tap to Find. See, I've got Easy Drummer loaded here with the heavy compressed vintage library preset selected because it's awesome. And uh, go to Tap to Find and just tap in my groove. Okay, it looks like I've got a few 100% matches, but I know that I want a groove that has some toms in it, even though I didn't click any into the interface. So all I have to do is click in one of the filter options, click toms, and then I know I want it to be a beat and not a fill or an ending or anything like that. And I see I've got some refined results. So let me try this one. Okay, that's perfect. It's exactly what I was thinking. All right, just drag it down to my track. All right, let's see what that sounds like with the verse. All right, pretty good. To find the groove for the chorus of the song and all the other parts, I'm going to drag the tom groove that I like to the song creator in Easy Drummer, and then it will lay out a bunch of other similar types of grooves that I can pick and choose from from there. So I'm going to try to write the rest of the song as quickly as possible by just using one of the song templates in Easy Drummer 2 Song Creator. So I'll load ABAB Short to the track, and I'm just going to take it from the chorus and see what it gives me. All right, that's okay. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. I've, I've actually found a better groove that I like in the verse column. So I'm going to drag that down, drag it down twice, can right click and I can merge the two and then I can also color code it as the chorus. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, that's more what I'm thinking. It's almost perfect. Um, I'd actually like the leading instrument to be the ride cymbal instead of the hi-hat. So I can change that really easily by going into edit play style. You just double click the groove and drag the power hand, which is the leading instrument, from the hi-hat to the ride cymbal. While I'm here, I'll change the opening hit to a crash cymbal. And let's give that a try. Okay, it's almost perfect. The only thing, and this is being really picky, is I'd like a little more energy uh, in the groove itself. So I think I can do that by adding more snare hits. And to do that, in Edit Playstyle, you just select the snare, and then you increase the amount knob. And what that will do is activate a smart algorithm inside of Easy Drummer 2 that actually adds or subtract hits, depending on what you want to do, the way that a real drummer would. So let's just do that and see what it sounds like. <laughs> So there it is. I've got the foundation to a song. It took almost no time at all, and I've even customized it a little bit. Now, if I want to finish the song, I can use Easy Drummer 2 song structures to help me finish the composition. I hope you enjoy using Easy Drummer 2, and I hope you find it as quick and easy as I just did. Thanks.